we received some big news here recently, Bama Nation. Tony Mitchell is back. So what does that Whoa! mean to the defense? And could we he possibly be starting once he has served his sentence? The kid could go out there and start in front of Christian Story. He can go out there and compete against the transfer safety coming in. Right now, today. Like, and we know it. And his his issue, like we say about most incoming freshmen, was weight. You know, can't put on weight. The kid put on weight. Because Tony Mitchell got to be like 210 right now, y'all. I, I mean, <laughs> the kid looked like – it looked like uh like Debo Samuels at, at safety, man. It's crazy how, how thick he got. So, you, you think about the just from a physicality standpoint, it's having something like him and Caleb Downs at, at over top. You know, guys that they're going to play discipline because they're – they're they're that ready mentally, man. That could be dangerous for us. That could be big, especially going forward over the next three years. The thing with Tony Mitchell, if he picks up that that playbook by camp and gets in there and dominate, and, and you know, and, and starts showing what he can do, he will factor into this rotation and it will be a heavy piece for us this year, right mm-hmm. alongside Caleb Down. I think he's going to be all ten toes in, all heads on deck, focus, focus now. You get a second chance, you know, you're able to avoid jail time. You know, we've all made mistakes and everything, but, you know, to have an opportunity and not lose your opportunity, I think he's going to be that much more focused, bought in, listening to what Coach Saban is there. He knows he had, he wasn't there for spring, you know, so he, I mean, he enrolled early, but he wasn't there for spring. So he, now he knows he's got to up the ante. He's got to make up for lost time. So he's going to be bought in. Yeah, he's going to have to go through Coach Saban's punishment, but I think that's what's going to help make him be that much greater because Coach Saban can now, you know, channel him, you know, focus on him, build that bond with him, and really get him to outplay his performance. And listen, like, having Caleb Downs there, he's going to want to be pushed to be, you know, those type of guys going to push each other to really – you know, possibly be the starters by the fall by Texas game. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if we see Downs and Mitchell. If listen, if Tony Mitchell is balling out like that with Caleb Downs, this is going to be uh, Coach Saban's suspension for him—a slap on the wrist because hey. he's going to be playing. He's too good not to contribute. For me, it's just the fact that he didn't come in during the spring. You have guys that have legitimate college football experience who now have repertoire with the team. And all of that. And all of your points are salient that Tony's going to be working very hard, but this is Alabama. Everybody's going to be working hard. And now that Tony came back, they're going to be working that much harder. So that, you know, that's not unique to one person. Now they're all going to up their game. And at that point, I think this secondary is going to benefit tremendously from Tony Mitchell. He's got the ability to play either nickel. He can play corner if need be, but safety. I think the future of safety is going to be incredible with Caleb Downs and Tony Mitchell. Like I said, guys, I don't, I would be shocked to see him starting not because of ability. The ability is never the question. It's just that they did a great job in the transfer portal, getting a Jalen key to come in here and he has that college football experience and some of the other guys were there in the spring. So they just get that leg up in that competition, but this is going to be, there's no way around that this isn't good for the secondary getting somebody that gifted to come in. 